Hello everyone, Lee J2512 here. Uh, this is something, this is a very, very quick video. This is something I saw in a local Waterstones bookshop and I had to have. Uh, I've never had this before. I thought this was a joke, by the way. Uh, I saw pictures of this on Facebook, online, MuggleNet. I saw pictures of it. I, th I saw the, seen the cover. I thought it was a joke. I didn't think it was an actual book. This is the Scots edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, well, it's, it, here it's called the Philosopher's Stain, so... <laughs> This is the Scottish edition of the Philosopher's Stone. I got this from Waterstones for about £8 in the shop. You can get it on Amazon, the British, the UK Amazon site, for about £5, I think it was. I was going to get it online, but then I thought, no, I saw it, I have to have it. I had no idea this was a thing. Uh, I mean, even the back of it, I mean, like, turning the envelope, our, his hand trembling. So this, right, okay, I'm going to be the translator for this. Turning the envelope over, his hand trembling. <laughs> Harry saw a purple, purple wax seal with a coat of arms. A lion, a what? A what? <laughs> and a snake surrounding a big letter H. Muckle is big. Uh, I don't even know what, the, like, I struggle with this sometimes, actually. I genuinely, I'm Scottish. Uh, I'm, I've lived in Scotland 25 years. I, I struggle with this sometimes. Harry Potter, Disney Kane, like, okay, so that doesn't know the first thing about Hogwarts when the letters start dropping onto the doormat at number, f number four, number four, Privet Drive. The letters written in green? Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to keep, like, I'll show you one, I'll show you one page, okay? And if you can, I mean, I mean even, the, even the map, I didn't even know this, I didn't notice this before. Why is it called Hoggy Ha? Why is it called that instead of... Why is it called Bismba instead of Bism Bism? I like Quidditch. Hag Hagrid's Boffy. Skelpin's <laughs> Skelpin is like whacking. So that, yeah, that makes sense for the Whomping Willow. Skelp. If you get a scalp, you get a slap. Green hooses. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you one page. Right, the laddie fa lived. Uh, Mrs. And Mr. Dursley or number of our private loan were put to say they were. Oh my God. Right. I think I've lost my accent. Uh, anytime anyone mentions it to me, they say, oh, you've turned right posh. You've really kind of lost your Scottish accent. But then people that don't live in Scotland are like, you sound so Scottish. So <laughs> I don't know what the hell, I don't know what I'm going for. Uh, they were the last folk you would, I don't even know. Were, and it, on it, yeah, skip the next. <laughs> I mean, if I, sh if I showed this to my mum, she would know every page, she would know every word. But me, no. Nah. I had a lot of English friends when I was young, uh, and so I kind of lost my accent pretty quickly. <laughs> I think just, I think the funny thing, I, the funniest thing I saw in this was um, someone who was shouting, Harry, and Harry just went, what? <laughs> like that. Weast, yelled, yelled Uncle Vern. Weast is just be quiet in Scottish. If you get if you tell someone to weast, you just tell them to shut up. Uh, yeah, this is just insane. The potions maester from Game of Thrones. Now, uh, yeah, Quint <laughs> Cauldron. This is just insane. The Squinty Gate. Is that is that the same name as the chap other the normal chapter? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Albus Dumby Dykes. In front of me. <laughs> Umbrella, swish and doon, through the air <laughs> to pint at Dudley. <laughs> to, to point at Dudley, not pint. <laughs> this is hilarious. Like, honestly, I, I my friend, you know, when I was in the shop with him, my, my friend says, don't buy it, just, just don't bother, but I have to. <laughs> this is Harry Potter, and this is Scottish Harry Potter. This is, I don't, this, I'm hoping this is still, oh, hang on, itchyq.com. Is that... I need to find that out. I need to find out if this has been published by... Okay, it's Itchy Coo. So I'm not sure if this is published by Bloomsbury? It's not. Like, it's... But I'm guessing they got permission from someone to do this. Uh, this is a nice collector's thing, to be honest. It's very, very cool. Um, oh my god. See... This is something I would give to my mum to get into Harry Potter. If, like, she... She she would probably know all of this. No, I don't even... Mars bars. I know, I know Mars party bots. I, every every flavour of beans. 
Uh, pumpkin Bridies, codring cake, licorice wands, and we need to strange things. Yeah, hadn't he ever seen in his life. Yeah, this is something that's very, very cool. I sh anyone, anyone I've showed this to, by the way, I've um, I've sent a screenshot of some of the pages to my friends and they think it's hilarious. They want one. And yeah, I put this up on Twitter as well. And it's just, <laughs> everyone's like, I need this in my life. Uh, get it if you can. Get it if you want to. <laughs> it's a nice, co a nice collector's thing. I don't think it's like, what edition is it? No. Uh, reprinted in 2017. Oh, so it's quite old then. Yeah, first published in Scots by Itchy Koo. Is an imprint and trademark of James Francis Robertson and Matthew Fitz, under license by Black and White Publishing. Okay, right. So, they obviously had permission to do this from Bl Bloomsbury. Um, yeah, printed and bound in Denmark. For a glossary, you get a glossary. For a glossary and guide to the Scots language used in this book, please visit www.itchy-no-hyphen-coo.com. <laughs> yeah, just even the chapters names. The glass that disappear. Glass. The letters for nobody from nobody. Keep of the keys. Quinty eight. Journey for platform in and three quarters. The blethering bonnet. That's the, that's the sorting hat, isn't it? The blethering bonnet. Blethering means like chatty if you're talking quite a bit. Minnich Duel. <laughs> yeah, Bizenbar. I'm guessing that's Quidditch. Because it said that name, Matt. Anyway. Yeah, the Keekin Glass of Erezed. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, that's the. So this is that. <laughs> the man with twa faces. So this is that. If you want to go for it, go for it. It's very, very funny. Uh, if you're not from Scotland, even if you're from Scotland, I'm from Scotland, and I struggle with this quite a bit. Uh, if you're not Scottish, you might not understand the majority of it. For well, here we go. For sake of Ken Speckle Pub, it was a bit of a cow. A bit of a cow is a bit of a mess, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think I'm not even sure what dialect this is from. I think it's Doric dialect from Scottish, but it could it could as well be from like, Glas. It could be Glaswegian. Anything. I don't know. So yeah, there we go. Excellent. Uh, that's it for me. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.